As a child, the word community meant some geographical place. But as I grew older, I came to understand it more as the term of endearment, shared traditions and values and heritage. So what better example of community could we experience other than our very own community fair? It's a three-day annual celebration of all things ag. Come on, let's meet our community. Come on. Okay, this is my favorite part of the fair. <laughs> But you already know that because it's my second year volunteering with the canning committee. Yep. Linda, her mom Marie, Yes. tell everybody how long you guys have been involved with the fair. Marie? Since I've been 16 years old. And how long is that? 50 years. 50 years. Yes. 50 years. And what happened, you said something happened in 69 or 70 that was kind I of I helped in the canned goods department and then the lady in the canned goods department decided she was going to give up. She had some other things to do and so then she handed the job to me and that was in 70 and then I did that till about, in charge of the canned goods department till about 2000 and then uh, we decided we had a lot of special contests like yeah. Yeah. cakes and, and cookies so they moved me to the contests. You, okay, so you moved to the contest, right. and what happened to the canning department? Where, who, it who went to that? my daughter. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> it goes down, it goes downhill. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about the contest that you mentioned, Marie. Uh, the contests are Hershey's Cake and Cocoa, which is sponsored by Hershey in Pennsylvania. And also then we have an apple pie contest, which is from the Apple Board of Pennsylvania. And then we also have a shoe fly pie contest, which we generated out of Oli Fair because that's traditional. Right. And then we have Angel Food Cake Contest and that's a state run contest. You know, everybody in the state of Pennsylvania makes those cakes and then they get a chance the winner gets a chance to go to the farm show in Harrisburg in January. And the other contest we had it was a quilt block contest and also there's a oh, the fair, fair, yeah, safety, the fair safety poster contest. Mm -hmm. And those also the winner goes to uh, farm show. The winners from that. And you know what's really great about these contests are that they're that they're open to children. Yes. So you can have a child's division as well as an adult's right. division and it really gets that participation in, you know, at, I, at a young age, doesn't it? I think it's a start for them to get involved and then eventually become in the adult class and then they can enter in the adult class and it makes the fair a family event. Love it. All right, I'm gonna. I want to stick around with you okay. because I want to take a look at some of the canned goods. Okay. All right. No problem. Marie, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Blue ribbon. Catnip jelly from my hobby farm. Do not tell anybody. <laughs> okay, Linda, let's talk about canning for a second. Okay. And it started out as a functional thing, a way to preserve food. I mean, right. you needed to do that. Now in the 21st century, it's not only functional, but it's kind of an art form, isn't it? Would you some, agree with yes, that? Yes, some of the jars we get in are very beautiful looking. They are so beautiful, and it's very obvious people spend a lot of time to just get the pack right, to get the color combinations right, yep. to get the look of the jar right, and they're rewarded by a blue ribbon at the fair. So let's Correct. take a look at some of these. Look at these carrots. My carrots yes. don't even grow that straight. Well, right, and string beans too. You'll see string beans don't always grow straight. You have to go and pick out the straightest ones and file them all in there to get I them bet. all perfect. I mean, that yeah. takes a lot of time. And are these peaches? Uh, either peaches or nectarines. Peaches or nectarines? Yeah. I mean, they're just beautiful. It's, it's like something out of a magazine almost. But I love this because it's, there's such a sense of pride about it, right, you know, right. when you, and especially when you grow your own vegetables or fruits. You could say you did it yourself. And you say you did it yourself. Yep. And this is a great way to showcase 
all those things that you do at home, whether they're homegrown or not, you know, right. you do them at your place, and it's a great place to showcase them, right? Oh, yeah. Our fair, and then there's other fairs around too, but I mean, we get a large amount oh, we here. Don't, we don't care yeah. about those. <laughs> oh. We actually, we actually, our canned goods departments, we get more jars here than any other fair. Yeah. Ours really do get a lot in. My cotton got a blue ribbon. That's my husband's name on the entry tag. Okay, so imagine you're at your local fair and you run into your school superintendent. Seems normal. Normal? Yeah, normal, right? Dr. Zakin, thank you so much for thank taking a minute. It's a pleasure. Thank Welcome you. to the Oli Valley. Well, thanks. I've been here for about six years now. Wonderful. Wonderful. So tell me a little bit about the history, your history, with the Oli Fair. My own personal history yes. is I, I'm very proud to say that my father was, was the first president of the Oli Fair in 1947. And he was the president for three years and stayed involved. And as we grew up in the Oli Valley, we got involved also. You grew up with the fair then? Absolutely, we grew up with the fair. And tell me something, it's a school day today, but yet we walk around and we're seeing some kids out of school. What's, what's up with that? A couple, two things. No, Number one, we, we believe in the Oli Fair. We believe in our students becoming part of the Oli Fair. They also are participating in the fair. So we, we only have a half day of school today. Isn't that great? Yes. And you know, I noticed downtown the bank is closing at a certain time because of the fair. Yeah, absolutely. So it's all about community, yeah, that's right. right? There's that word again, that wonderful word, community. I love it. It's it's something that ties us all together, and you see many different walks of life and generations and all enjoying the Oli Fair, right? Enjoying the fair. It's almost like a reunion. It is. It is. Tell me, where do you see the fair going from here? It will Constant, con constantly evolving it Constantly and evolving and growing and uh, making it a better fair each year. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Thank you so Thank much, you. Dr. Zakin. Now, let's talk about my son's math grade. Okay. <laughs>